we're looking at question number 16. You'll have to excuse some of my drawing abilities for this one, but we've got something that sort of looks like a, uh, a trough, something like this, and it goes back in three dimensions. Okay, we've got something like that. And from that, they tell us we've got this distance is five feet. The height here is four feet. We don't know the distance across the top of the trapezoid. We know the distance, the length of the trough is eight feet. And we know the volume is 176 cubic feet. So this is one of those questions where they're trying to get us to work backwards. So we still, however, using the volume of a trapezoid equation. So volume is equal to the area of the trapezoid times the length. So that's that times the eighth. So the area of the trapezoid, you'll recall, we basically take the two top and bottom sides we kind of average them out by dividing them by two. So in this case, we've got five plus B divided by two. And then we're multiplying that times the height, which we're told is four. Then we're going to take all of that and multiply it by the length, which is eight. And we're told that when we do that, it's going to be 176 cubic feet. From that, I would typically rearrange this a little bit. So I would take the, the divide by two and I divide the four by the two. So I'd end up with two times eight would be 16 times five plus B. So all I've done is just write, put all of these together, done all of that math in one step, dividing everything by two and then multiplying by the eight. And that's still equal to 176. 16 times five is 80. 16 times B is 16 B. Now I'm going to divide or I'm going to subtract 80 from both sides. So I end up with 96 is equal to 16 B. Then I'm going to divide by 16 and B is going to be equal to six feet. Okay. So the missing side then for the top of the trough is six feet in length. Number 17. In this case, we have a cylinder which it will be challenging for me to draw, but I will do one anyway. So we have a cylinder and the cylinder we're told has a volume of 314 cubic centimeters and it has a radius of five centimeters and we're asked to find the height H. So remembering that the volume of the cylinder is equal to the area of the end. So the area of the base times the height, the area of the base, it's a circle, so it's pi r squared, and then we're still going to multiply that by the height. Now we can substitute in some values. So the volume, we're told, is 314. It's equal to pi times the radius squared. The radius is 5, and then that's squared, and it's multiplied by the height, which is what we don't know. Once we've got that, I'm going to rearrange it so that I end up with height. I'm going to divide both sides by pi times 5 squared, or 25 pi, whatever you prefer. So I'm dividing the both sides by pi times 5 squared. So I'm dividing that side as well as this side. When I divide both those sides, I end up with h is equal to 4 centimeters. So 314 divided by 25 pi gave me 4. This time we have a cone that has a volume of 37.68. So, okay, so I've got to start with a cone and it's got a volume of 37.68 cubic millimeters and a height of nine millimeters. And we're asked to find the radius. So I start off with the volume equation. Volume is the area of the base times the height divided by three, or you can do it as one third the area of the base times the height. Either way, we're told the volume is 37.68 and that's the area of the base is a circle. So it's pi r squared. So pi now I'll put that in pi r squared times h. Putting in now the r value, we've got pi r we don't know, so we'll leave that as the variable, and the height is 9. Oops, and that was all divided by 3. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to get rid of that 3, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. So I'll multiply by 3, and I get 113.04 is equal to pi r squared times 9. Now I'm going to divide by 9 pi. 
So I'm dividing both sides by 9 pi so that I can get rid of the pi and the 9, and I end up with 4 is equal to r squared. Take the square root of both sides, so I get r is equal to 2. So the radius of the cone is 2 millimeters.